American Apparel has stripped Dove Charney of his CEO duties. He's the original founder of American Apparel, founded back in 2007. And now this is for allegations of misconduct. You may have heard stories about American Apparel CEO's uh, behavior, especially sexual behavior. He's been rumored to walk around the office not wearing anything, sometimes in his underwear, so let's give him credit for that. Um, you know, in a Jane interview, he allegedly had one of his employees give him uh, or masturbate with him while he was conducting an interview. View, he gives his employees vibrators. So you've so heard all way, of this, right? Back you up to the uh, masturbating. Yes. So, uh, so you're going to tell me that's wrong. Uh, <laughs> so, no, he's ma so he was masturbating, and 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 he was inter was anyone else in the room? Like someone else came in to help him while he was interviewing a third person? So it was that's a, awkward. So the details are not entirely clear, but apparently it was a Jane interview, and as he was giving the interview, he was mm. being masturbating, mm -hmm. and uh, he claims it was consensual. Right. No, well, look, no, no, there's actually a very good <laughs> argument for that, actually. Look, so this guy gets a lot of crap for very understandable reasons, although I don't think what he did with women, et cetera, is the reason he's being canned now. I think it's an excuse. I'll losing get to, money. Right. Yeah, I'll get to that in a second. Yeah. Uh, so then there's rumors that he got a blowjob during something or other as well. Uh, but, you know, when I saw the list of things that he was actually charged, like civil, not criminal, right? If somebody sues him, et cetera. It's so mainly, a lot of it was about masturbation. Mm -hmm. But one woman... Uh, he's, that he said was consensual, they had masturbated together in the office, uh, together meaning he does it, she does it, uh, eight times. So, I, look, if I'm on that jury, I'm like, the first time, you know, maybe it's awkward, maybe there's something, you know, you know power position. The seventh time when you decide to do it together, I'm having a hard time believing it's not consensual, right? And maybe I'm wrong about that, and you'd have to hear the whole case out, right? No, it's a, but that, that's going to be his argument. Yeah. It's going to be a reasonable one. Yeah, and, and so then, like, everybody got into the pattern of suing him. So I'm not saying he shouldn't have been sued, and you got to, and he, I think that they settled a lot of those cases, meaning paid a lot of those cases. So those are really interesting facts about him, but it's a little bit more complicated than that. It is, and I think timing has a lot to do with it too, right? That's kind of what we can look at. And um, the, their stocks weren't doing well at all. Like American Apparel stock had fallen drastically to about like 64 cents per uh, share uh, recently. So it had been suffering financially for quite some time. And I think this was maybe a way for them to sort of rebrand the company and say we were known as this lascivious, like sexually charged company by ousting our CEO. Perhaps Perhaps we can get rid of that brand image and turn it into something more wholesome. So they've even started a campaign with workers um, featuring, uh, you know, their own workers behind the factories and saying this is who we are. Yeah. Pretty so wholesome. This is, the, this is the new Coke. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> so that's look, we're getting So at. that's a good point. So here's why. Look. I think it's less about rebranding because actually people want to buy American Apparel because they like the sexy brand. They like all the crap he did to get them sexy, right? But now they're losing money and they don't like that. Mm -hmm. So now last year they lost $37 million. This year they lost $106 million. And what I'm amazed by is that if we lost 10 bucks, uh, we'd be shut down. Like, you know, <laughs> because you don't have it. You don't have it. You're done, right? Yeah. But like the bigger your company gets, they're like, oh, you know, you lost $106 million. You know, you know what? We're going to look. If you keep that up for a decade or so, <laughs> we're really going to have to crack down on you. So, uh, but what happened is he had to sell a bigger share of it, of the company that he owned, and he got below the 35% threshold where you can completely control the board. He's now down to 27%. The minute that happened, they're like, oh my God, he the sexual harassment lawsuits that have been sitting around for years. That, yes, we're getting rid of him. Because they want to sell the company. He didn't want to sell the company. They want to sell the company because they what people say is we like the sexy stuff you created. We want that sexy stuff, but your baggage, and we don't like your baggage. So jettison that guy, sell the company, everybody makes money, and we get rid of this guy. Okay? That's what's happening here. Nothing How do you in know recent. That? Because I know business, okay? And I know that once you fall be below 35%, you lose control of the board. And it says here that they, they do want to sell. That's what this whole thing's about. Uh, it's not any new revelations that this guy's there. This guy's been masturbating into his sock for years. <laughs> Literally, that's what that's what the allegations are. That he walked around with a sock and then he'd, yeah. like, he'd be like, hey, Jane, Susie, you guys want to come in here and beat off? Okay, so that's not news to them. That's, don't, they're uh, trying to sell the company. Don't shed a tear for him, though, because uh, as this picture will show, uh, he could just go back and reform that barbershop quartet, and he'll be fine. Or get into 1970s porn. <laughs> yeah, I was, it's right, right. I think more. I think more 1890s barbershop quartet, but sure, 1970s porn works a little bit too. <laughs>